So hello everybody. So this is a. Uh, I will try to to do my best to uh, to shoot a video how to make uh, the one to uh, to to raise your balloon for the cubical quad. So basically, it's quite simple. Of course, uh, um, in the in the web page on my website, you will find uh, all the information regarding the toroid uh, you should use. So you need the toroid, of course, a casing, uh, some. Uh, little crimp connector, some screw. Here I'm using uh, for this balloon, in fact it was uh, at, the, at the beginning I used an uh, electrician uh, cable. I, I was uh, planning to use after silicon or PTFE uh, cable, but since it was working well with the electrician cable, so I keep the electrician cable. This is a 1.5 millimeter uh, uh, electrician uh, cable for the gauge. So this is pretty much what you need. It's quite simple. According with so according with the PA Zero uh, Fox Romeo India website, uh, I discovered this balloon uh, used by this uh, old man, and uh, I thought it was quite interesting because, uh, as I said, uh, with the initial balloon, I have um, uh, the biggest issue I have. I have some interaction on. Uh, uh, with uh, between the bands and mostly also I have uh, some problem to find the deep and the resonance for all the bands so it was really a pain on the ass so uh, I swap from the original balloon the conventional balloon I built uh, for the purpose of the antenna and swap to this balloon so this balloon in fact is quite simple it's a pure transformer with a one to two uh, ratio so you need to follow the according with uh, the impedance we find for each of the driver. So for each of the driver, when I uh, I route all the and I install all the wire into the the frame, in fact into the spread with on the spreader, I noticed that the, the impedance was uh, roughly about 100 to 130 ohm for each uh, driver whatever the band. So if you are using um, a relay box, you need uh, to uh, uh, to build a quarter wave uh, adapter in order to uh, to fit with your 50 ohm impedance from the coaxial, or you need to find, to, to build this, bal this uh, transformer. I prefer to call that a transformer. So it's, in fact, it's uh, quite simple. It's a pure transformer with a primary here, on the secondary here, and they are not connected together. It's very different compared to the current balloon, the one to two current balloon ratio you can find everywhere on internet. So it's very simple. You need to uh, build a primary on a secondary, and we use as a really as a pure transformer. That's why. I prefer to call uh, this uh, device, we can say that, a transformer because it's really a pure transformer. So how to build it? I'm going to, uh, to I will try to, to show, uh, uh, to, uh, to do my best to, uh, to show you how I built it. In fact, you will see it's very simple. With uh, the primary, you need to start with the primary. That means the, si uh, the side where the coaxial cable will be connected. So according with a PA0 FRI, you, you need to wind about a 12 turn. So I'm going to try to do my best how to wind the 12 turn. It's very, very simple. So as I said, you need to wind the primary. So I use uh, this electrician cable. So you can use, of course, a silicon cable or PTFE cable. It's up to you. But for my case, the, the electrician cable works perfectly. So you need to follow, cut a certain length of, uh, of wire. It's approximately one meter. And you need really to follow uh, the guidance of uh, this... Uh, uh, balloon uh, transformer winding so you need to to start with the primary so you go like that it's sorry so it's like that and you need not to wind 12 wind 12 turn sorry but, uh, I make a 12 turn according with uh, the primary so uh, you need to to 
to wind it uh, as tight as possible, of course. That's why I like uh, the electrician cable because it's a little bit stiff and it's much easier compared to the silicon cable or this kind of thing. So uh, after it's up to you what kind of cable, as far as copper, you, need, you want to choose. So there is a different way to, uh, to, to wind uh, uh, on the material you want to use for the 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 cable, the wire. The most important this is the the toroid itself. It must be a FT two hundred forty on sixty one. It's not another one. I didn't make any test with another toroid, so you need to use this one. So this is uh, uh, the primary. So each time you go inside the the, the toroid, it counts at one turn. Okay. So now I'm going to wind the secondary. Now we the primary is down. We need to make to build the secondary of the transformer. So you follow exactly the schematic from the. Uh, I post uh, the picture I post on my website or P zero FRI uh, website. I start like that. You see, up exactly the same. On you wind eighteen turns. It's quite simple. On for each turn you go in between all the the winding of the primary. So it's quite simple. The winding is down. I have 12 on 80 turn, 12 for the, uh, the primary and 18 for the secondary. So here you're going to connect your coaxial plug, you know, your SO239 or whatsoever the plug you are using. Here, what you can do, this is first to test the, the transformer in, uh, in order to ensure that you have uh, the correct uh, uh, ratio regarding uh, this build. So here you just need to connect 120, 130 ohm resistant, resistor, non-inductive. Here you connect your nano VNA according with the coaxial plug you have uh, solder here. On you check, on you must have a flat one to one to four uh, SWR uh, uh, all along the bands. So all along for us, it's a five band from 20 meters up to 30, uh, uh, 20 meters up to 10 meters band uh, 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 cubical quad antenna. So you must have, as possible, the a flat SWR less than two, definitely less than two between uh, 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 from uh, 20 meters up to 10 meters. So after, how to, uh, to connect after, as you, as described into the previous video on, on the website, you need for each uh, side of the, of the balloon, you put, in, of course, inside the box, uh, so I, I didn't do everything because, in fact, I don't need another balloon. So, <laughs> so I didn't build completely the balloon because uh, I, I don't need, uh, basically, the, this kind. You make, you solder the connector here on after. What you need to do, you need to do a jumper here. I use a silicon cable to another connector. So the jumper must be about uh, four to five centimeters. And after, you make another jumper between this connector to the other connector. And you have the three connectors for each side. So you do the same for the other side. You solder the main connector with one jumper. You solder the second connector, about four or five centimeters for the second jumper. And for the, the third jumper, same, you put here. On your solder, another jump pad between here and here. That's all. After you need to connect to make a hole, of course, on your casing. So what I did, I, I put here uh, two connectors. I put two, one connector here 
on another connector here. You need to, to, to make some distance between the connector. Why you need to do that? Because uh, you will have uh, some uh, very tiny resistivity, resistivity between all the connectors. So this kind of uh, trick, in fact, I found, I didn't find myself, I found in some website, uh, few uh, amateur radio use this trick and it works perfectly for them. Plus the addition of this uh, balloon, and I can tell you, you can achieve a perfect uh, uh, SWR on the resonance fre frequency according with your, your driver. So that's all. It's, uh, it's quite simple because uh, this uh, transformer is uh, there is no connection between the primary and the secondary. They are totally independent. This is a pure transformer, one to two ratio. And according with that, with all the connector, after it's mostly it's not electronic, uh, it's not even electricity, it's up to you how to connect after the three connector here inside your box. You must provide uh, some space between the connector. And that's all. So that's all you need to do. As I said, check first your, your uh, transformer with, uh, with 120 ohm here. Here, of course, the, the Quasha cable. You connect your Nano VNA. You can find a lot of tutorial on internet how to test the transformer and how to set up your Nano VNA. And that's it. If you are satisfied and you have a, a good 1 to 2 ratio, 120 ohm and 50 ohm, it's perfect. You 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 are ready to go, and you are ready to install into your on your cubical quad antenna. So I try to do my best or to explain how I did the 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 balloon or how to wind it. I think you notice it's quite simple. So good luck with your build. My best seventy three. Take care, and see you very soon on the air. This is Victor eighty five November Papa Victor QRT. Bye bye.